good news proclaimed in the book of John chapter 14 verse 15 to 21. If you love me, you will obey my commandments. I will ask the Father and he will give you another helper who will stay with you forever. He is the Spirit who reveals the truth about God. The world cannot receive him because it cannot see him or know him. But you know him because he remains with you and is in you. When I go, you will not be left all alone. I will come back to you. In a little while, the world will see me no more, but you will see me. And because I live, you also will live. When that day comes, you will know that I am in my Father, and that you are in me, just as I am in you. Those who accept my commandments and obey them are the ones who love me. My Father will love those who love me. I too will love them and reveal myself to them. This is the Gospel of Christ. I greet you in the powerful name of Jesus. There are numerous Christian songs and poems and sayings that tell us that the world is not our home. I'm sure we've all sung them or said them. An old Jim Reeves song captures the sentiment. It goes, the world is not my home, I'm just a passing through. My treasures are laid up somewhere beyond the blue. The angels beckon me from heaven's open door and I can't feel at home in this world anymore. It's kind of sad. But Christians relate to the sentiment and it provides a type of comfort because death holds less fear when I can say my home is not in this world. Well, it's wrong. And I challenge that thinking. It leads to escapism and fatalism. Our home is not of this world, but it is most certainly in it, here and now. That's not meant to take away our comfort and consolation. The day will come when we will see face to face and experience God without our earthly limitations. But if we are expecting to go through some pearly gates and upgrade to our mansion in the sky, we might miss out on a really beautiful and important part, which requires us to be at home in our bodies. Let me explain. Let's start by understanding that the Gospel of John does portray the negative understanding of the world as the place where God is not known or recognized. Right in chapter one, we read, the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. He was in the world, and though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. The world, therefore, is a place of spiritual blindness. It's echoed in today's reading in verse 19. Before long, the world will not see me anymore, but you will see me. In John chapter 16, we read, In this world you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. So yes, the world is also a place of suffering and struggle. Even the more reason to do what Jesus did and move into the neighborhood. Philippians 3 verse 20 says that our citizenship is in heaven. Jesus said we belong to another kingdom, God's kingdom. But the heavenly realm does not start after death, somewhere beyond the blue. The kingdom of heaven is also amongst us, and our home address currently is in the world. Why does this matter? Because of the word home. Home truly is where the heart is. We associate it with relationship and family and being real. Everything that the world needs and everything that Jesus promised his disciples and us in today's gospel reading. We need to hear these words. I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you. You will realize that I am in my Father and you are in me and I am in you. He also said, the one who loves me will be loved by my Father and I too will love them and show myself to them. Well, that sounds like a home, love, family, relationship, presence and the condition is to follow Jesus commandments and do as he did 
which means that the prerequisite for this home is love. Let's not make the mistake of thinking that salvation is just about me and my ticket to my real home. We're not just renting here on earth. And we're not exempt from the call to love as Jesus did. Love does not turn its back on pain. It doesn't give up when the situation looks hopeless. It is messy and it drives out fear and it never fails. This sounds scary and Jesus knew that the world is an alienating and hostile place. So he gave the strength we need. The link who completes the circle and brings it all together is God's spirit our advocate who will help us and be with us forever. The constant presence of love, always linking this world and the next, always bringing heaven to earth, always transforming the world and loving it into wholeness through us. And if you don't know how you're going to do that today and tomorrow, well, apart from faith, neither do I. But he has never left us yet. Take heart that you are not a wanderer passing through and you are not a spiritual orphan. Love has made his home in you and your home is here where God is.